What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And a while back I had a request from a subscriber asking me to do some cabbage in a slow cooker. Typically when I cook cabbage I'll do it in a skillet on the stove so this isn't something that I do all the time. Anyway, the way I'm going to cook this I'm going to be using some of the techniques that I would be using uh, when I make my collard greens even though when I make greens I do those on the stove as well. I'll be cooking this when I'm at work so the crock pot is going to be the perfect application for this recipe. Again, this is a very simple recipe. Let's take a look at these ingredients and get started. This is going to be a pretty healthy cabbage recipe. Rather than using sausage, bacon, ham hocks or anything like that, we are going to be using some smoked turkey that I cured and smoked last week. We have cabbage, a couple red uh, peppers, and this is mainly going to be for color. I have celery, garlic, one white onion, some chili pepper flakes, a little bit of salt, water, and I may add a dash of vinegar when I add the cabbage. So this part I think is key. What this is gonna allow us to do is season our water without having to overcook any of the cabbage and the rest of the vegetables that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and add our smoked turkey. I'm gonna hit it with about a little over a teaspoon of garlic. Our red pepper flakes just to get it nice and spicy. And our water. Now the cabbage is going to bring out a lot of water on its own. So I'm really just going to want to cover this up just barely. And we're going to cover about half of this up. Should be enough. You know, that's good right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on high for four hours. This smoked turkey is frozen. If it wasn't frozen, I would just go three hours on high. Anyway, let's get this rocking. When I get back from work, we'll get working on these vegetables and finish this up. So I am back from work. This has had a chance to cook on high for four hours and then it went to warm for another hour. So it's cooled down a little bit. Now here's where you're going to season it. So we're just going to go ahead and taste this liquid, this in here and see if we need to add any salt or chicken broth or anything like that. You know it may add a little bit of salt to that, but that's about it. It does have enough of that chicken flavor from this smoked uh, turkey that we have in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these out and let these cool off and I'm going to pick the meat off of the bone and discard the fat in the bones and add the meat back in once we uh, have our cabbage cooking. Now there's a few different ways you can cut up this cabbage. You can cut them into some thicker cuts or you could uh, kind of shred it up. I'm gonna kind of go a little bit thicker on mine. So I just cut the cabbage in half and then we're just gonna kind of cut it in thick ribbons. And then I'm gonna just go across one time in the middle. Like I said, as far as this cabbage goes, do it however you want. I prefer to have it on the thicker side, but you can't go wrong either way. So we got that. Get that in. We're going to go ahead and slice up these, the celery. And you can go as thick or as thin as you want on these as well. those ends and our, our bell peppers I'm gonna kind of cut those a little chunky as well so I'm just gonna kind of come down like that then just half.
Now that I have my turkey meat off the bone, we're just going to go ahead and throw this in. And I'm going to throw about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit over a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in there. And I'm going to stir this up probably in about another hour or so. I just want that cabbage to kind of wilt down into that liquid a little bit. So this is what the done deal looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put this in a little bowl over here. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before we go ahead and taste it because it is pretty hot. One thing I like about this recipe, you know, if you plan on doing it, these red peppers give it a little bit of uh, color, and hopefully the uh, chili, you know, the red pepper flakes we put in there is going to kind of come through, add a little bit of heat. But you can tell that uh, the color of this, some of that uh, smoke action got in from the turkey legs. This is looking and smelling actually really good. So this is what they call a done deal. Time for me to get into this and see what I think about it. The one thing I can say, it's not missing any chicken broth. So a lot of times you'll see, you know, chicken broth being added to this. Doesn't need that at all. You know, we started off with just a little amount of liquid so that flavor from when that turkey was in there got seriously concentrated. Definitely have some of that smoked turkey flavor coming through. As a matter of fact, here's a nice big old piece of turkey right here. And you know what? It's hard to get overly excited about cabbage, but I will tell you that for cabbage, this is good. I'll be cleaned out tomorrow morning for sure. Anyway, one thing I really highly recommend if you are going to cook cabbage and if the aesthetics of the dish means anything to you, the red uh, bell peppers that we added to this really add some, uh, add some nice color to it. And you do get some heat from that uh, those chili flakes that I added early on in this cooking process. So. You know, a lot of people will add like a vinegar hot sauce type deal to this. You know what? You might want to add a little bit more vinegar if that's your taste, but it definitely doesn't need any more heat. That is for sure. Anyway, hey, I always have to try something new. Not new for me, but new to my channel. But I do appreciate the recommendation. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.